Anyway, yes, let's go on to alternates then. There is a bit of alternates, not much though. Uh, right then, so there is a form where you can apply to be in the Autonauts beta. Uh, however, as I'll get to later, uh, I think that's not working anymore because they're actually opening up for open beta. Because obviously the, the application was for closed beta, but apparently open beta is happening soon. So, you know, I guess that doesn't really happen anymore. But in case, just in case, you can go and uh, do that in application, although I do believe that that's ended now. But we'll just have to wait and find out. I haven't actually got any confirmation about it, but I'm sure we will find out. And also, GameSpot has released an interview with Rowan Belder Clifford, who is the designer for Outernauts. And you can actually see the first real gameplay for Outernauts in this trailer, in this interview as well. So if you want to check it out, you can. Links are in the description to, as well to every other article I've talked about. Right then, that's it for that bit. Then let's go on to Insomnia Quick News then. Okay, so Brandon Win3, he is the Associate Community Manager at Insomnia Games. Uh, and where is, it, where is it? He has released a video on his YouTube. Uh, it's basically a voiceover reel. So you can hear some of his voices of his, I mean, of his characters. Uh, one of them that I particularly liked was he did like a crime show introduction for the Flintstones. Fred Flintstone, an employee of Slate Rock Gravel Company. His wife, Wilma, a stay-at-home mom. Yet on this working man's salary, how did Wilma afford a necklace made of huge rocks? Also, Insomniac Games have released their next Baker's Dozen, which is like a blog on Insomniac Games. Uh, this one is about internships, and it's actually quite good, because you can actually find out some information there. You can actually find out that Rowan Belden Clifford... Clifford? Clifford, yes. He was actually an intern, but now he's the designer, I think lead designer, uh, maybe just the designer, I'm not quite sure, but he's actually the designer for Outernauts. And also, I do believe... Uh, that Brandon Winthrop was in fact an intern as well, so it's it's a, it's a very it's a very intern friendly Outsnorts game, isn't it? Where like, obviously internet in, interns have helped make it, which is quite good. Right then, well that's you know they're not interns now; they're fully working at Insomniac Games, but they were interns. Anyway, yes, right then. So there's a new newsletter for Insomniac Games. Uh, this basically talks about Ratchet and Clank, Full Frontal Assault, and Outsnorts. Now, if I bring it up here. Uh, it's also, it says, plus, the game is going to open beta very soon. And you wouldn't want to miss that, would you? Right then, so it obviously says about the application, uh, it obviously is going to open beta soon, so uh, the application is probably irrelevant at this moment, but I'm sure we'll find out later on. Right then, what else is there? Uh, there was also an interview with Ted Price and Carrie Dientery Lee. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm very bad at reading names. Uh, but it basically talks about the company, and actually it's really interesting about this at the end. It actually talks about something called the Better Halves. These are obviously the other halves to uh, the people that work at Insomniac Games, like the wives, spouses, husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, significant others, that sort of thing. And actually, it's actually really interesting. I never knew about this. And they're actually, they're actually doing some really cool things on there. They're actually making a cookery book for charity, which I thought was pretty amazing. All right, then. so then, if you have anything you want me to show in the next episode, just let me know and I'll feature it. And I think at that, that is it. So, big news episode this week. Uh, we've got uh, Ratchet & Clank Full Frontal Assault or Ratchet & Clank Q-Force, if you live in Europe. Uh, and obviously, of course, a little bit of some information about Outsnorts and Ratchet & Clank Trilogy. Uh, but yes, so then, I think that's about it. So, cheers for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope to catch you next time in the Ratchet & Clank FMP. Hopefully, see you then.